traders welcome back to the channel on today's video we are finally installing the m4 gts style tail light on the f80 m3 yes these bad boys they arrive and now i'm just going to install it follow me on these quick tips i'm also going to provide you all the details about where to get them if you're interested to get one for your car Perfect. GTS OLED tail light has been something that a lot of people fantasize of getting. If you want to get the one from BMW, it costs about eight grand. I don't see anyone, you know, owning one of these cars buying it for eight thousand dollars. And plus, they don't make these for the M3. It's only for the M4. So if you want something that is similar on your F80 M3 or F30, any F series in general, not just the F32 or F80 82 then you can get this from different places i'm going to put on the link below places where you can actually get a set for yourself now when it comes to installing this it's pretty simple after i do the installation i'm going to show you the difference between version 1 and version 2. the one that i got is version 2. i like it and i'm going to give the reason also why i like it after i'm done with the installation so let's go ahead and install this very quick it's fairly simple the first step is to remove this flathead screw this is just going to remove this panel that is covering the bolt to remove this assembly right here. So use your flathead screwdriver, unscrew that. And when it's loose, you can remove the bolt and simply remove the item. Now you have two screws, one right here and one on the bottom here. Those are 10 millimeters. I like to keep this tray so that I can place my screws. It has a magnet on the bottom. It's good to really keep in screws. Now that you have this, you simply pull the assembly and it should come out pretty simple. There you go. Now, to remove this power line, you simply press the tab and pull it. There you go, you press it and pull. That will come out. What I like to do is because this area is a little dirty right now, I like to go ahead and clean it up so that you know it is just nice for the new headlights. On the back of the taillight version 2 at least, you have all these connectors. Now, some of these you just have to relocate them in these holes right here so that you can push and hide them. This cable is pretty much going to be attached to the second part. It's going to be attached to this part. I'm going to show you where in a second so there's a little screw this place right here this is where that long cable is going to be attached to this is so that whenever you break this portion of the light we light up if you don't plug that this long cable this portion is not going to work so you want to plug that so you can have everything working properly so as i was mentioning you have this long cable pretty much what we're going to do is you will feed it through this little hole that is located here i'm going to zoom in there in a second after i kind of mount everything and then the line is going to come on this way and then mount it right here so let's go ahead and do that so you simply squeeze a little bit and push it so that it can go in there all right so as I was saying, that cable is going inside this hole here and you kind of pull this kind of carpet a little bit and you will be able to pull the cable from the inside here. So there's the cable coming. Now all we can do is now instead of feeding it from here, we feed it all the way to here. So on the inside here, you pass there and then pull it this way. As I was stating, here's the cable. So you first feed the cable to the hole, pull a little bit. When you have a good length like this one, now you go ahead and make sure that it comes through this hole on this side right here. So the idea is pretty much that you're going to run this cable along this, along this, the perimeter here and then to the top. I'm gonna to show you how that's done. So now I just wanna make sure that I pull a little more cable here.
The next thing that you want to do is you want to locate the type of cable that you are going to use. Now, on the back of this, you have two connectors. You have one connector that is written 2013-2015. Those will be for the pre-LCI cars. Then you have one that says 2016 and up. Those will be for the LCI car. My car is 2017, so this is the LCI, so this is the plug that I am going to use. Now, as you can see, these are useful, but you want to go ahead and just push them inside this hole right here, and they are not going to be on your way. So let me just go ahead and take the connector that I'm going to use, the connector that comes from the car meant to say, and then plug it to the side that said 2016 and up. Now, another thing is that when you plug here, you can see when you look at the cable, you have yellow, red, black, green, and then you have two empty. Now, when you plug it, make sure that you match so that the sides that have the cable match the side that have the cable. It may be common sense, but I prefer to mention it just so that people are not confused. Okay. After you push it very well, everything is done. Now go ahead and push everything in the hole here because that's pretty much where it's going to stay. And now align everything. Make sure that this screw right here is going into the hole that is on the side here. Now, if when you put everything, it's not flush like factory, you can go ahead and unscrew this hole a little bit. It's gonna help you get that flush fitment. When you make it, you always have to make sure that you push it because that's how you get that flush. There's a big gap sometimes that people will get, but once you push like this, it is good. Then you go ahead and reattach your screws. As I mentioned, sorry if my car is dirty. As you can see, the fitment is on point. Let me show you. Forgive the dirty car. Yep. Let's go ahead now and work on getting the inner. If I close it, you can clearly see that these one are a little darker than the factory one. That's one difference. So now what we have to do is pretty much remove this, remove the cover, remove the inner side of the tail light, and then hook up the next one. Using your screwdriver, you put the screwdriver head kind of like right here and push it in. It's going to release that clip right there, as you can see. Do the same thing on the bottom here, and remove that. Then, pull it completely, and then pull towards the down. And that one is off. The next thing we have to do is remove a few screws using a Phillips head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go ahead and remove that. Then after that, we have to... You don't have to totally remove this portion right here. It all depends if you want to completely remove this off or kind of like having sagging. If you want to have it sagging, you just kind of move this out of the way and it will sag. You can still put the light that way, but I will try to remove the whole piece so I have enough space to do this job. Using an 8 millimeter screwdriver, we have to remove this nut right here. Once we remove that, we're going to pull it all the way to here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the headlight here towards the left. All right. That's exactly how you're going to remove it. So when you unscrew this, it's going to pop a little bit here. Then you just slide it out, moving to the left. Now we just go ahead and remove the connection by pressing the tab and pulling it. Now, as I mentioned, you pull and it should come out. To place the new one, you pretty much do the reverse process of what we just did here. So you literally put all the cables down here through the hole. One thing I want to point out is that on the top here, you have to press it really, really hard. This version too hard a nice little thing here that will make it tough for the screw to go inside the hole here. So you have to push it pretty well before you go in that direction. All right. When it's in, now you just go ahead and tighten everything. When you are done, 
you can use zip ties or velcro to kind of wire i mean uh, do some cable management like so and now let's go ahead and assemble everything and i'm going to show you everything once it is already mounted all right guys so installation is done moment of truth i'm going to go ahead and uh unlock the car and let's see how the things happen the light that we are waiting for right now Woo! this is beautiful Oh my god, this is bright. It is bright as hell. It is very bright and I love it. So let's go ahead and lock it. You saw the sequential. Let's unlock again. Now if it flickers on camera, in reality it doesn't really flicker. So it's just because this is LED and sometimes with camera it doesn't really capture it pretty well. So let me go ahead and show you the difference between this and the version 1. The main difference between the version 2 and the version 1 it's happening right here. Now these little red dots you will have five of them on the version 1 and then on the version 2 you only have four as you can see right here and then on the version 2 they have this one line crossing all of them right there. Now the version 1 does not have this LED strip right here which is part of the brake light. I'm going to demonstrate how this one works. Now on the version 1, it only has this light right here that seems to be like the brake force light, kind of like the factory um, F80 tie light has like this little one rectangular for the brake force. So this is not the same. This one has, when you brake, it goes all the way from here, all the way here. Now this is the reverse light and overall this is looking darker than regular. It blends very well with the F80, especially if you have a black one. Again, I'm sorry if my car is dirty. I'm gonna clean that tomorrow. So let me go ahead now and show you the different lights so you can see how they happen. So it seems like with the version 2 you also have the brake force light. Now I have the brake force light coded on the button on my car so this light right here which is also the reverse light when you do brake force light it seems like it gives you the red right there. So I like the fact that it's still implemented. Now this one will serve as the brake force light and the reverse light at the same time. I love it. Alright guys I'm done installing the light and it turned out pretty 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 great one thing i want to point out is that when you are leaving the slack here make sure that you really leave all the cable all the cable like i mounted everything and when i was trying to close it seems like i needed to leave a little extra slack so i had to pretty much reach and pull more cable so leave all the slack because all of that is needed whenever you want to close the trunk now one thing I like is the fact that there's a company actually called, I think, Solas Illumination. They are trying to come out with a version of this same light that will actually be OLED. This is LED, version 1 and version 2 is LED. So probably that one will be called version 3 because um, it would come this year. And um, I'm not sure, I don't have too much detail about that. On the forums, the only guy that has that is, I think, Dub seed that's that's his instagram name i will put a picture right now so you can see that on the rendering of that on his car now those pictures are not from me those pictures i took them from the forum so kudos to all those guys who uploaded these pictures on the forum and again they are the one that created those pictures so all the credit goes to them i don't own any of those pictures so i just kind of copy that so that i can show you the difference now one thing i want to point out is that this channel has been doing good, very, very great. A lot of support from you guys. So the one thing I want to do is that I'm doing a giveaway when I have a thousand subscriber. And what exactly I'm going to give away these headlights. So the winner will actually get a set of these. If the person wants version one or version two, they will let me know. Then I will order it and ship it directly to their house. So yes, so go ahead and help me out here. Let, help me get to a thousand subscribers and you will win the tail light. All you have to do is make sure that you subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and send me a DM on Instagram 
that's how I'm going to track to see who is following and who is subscribing. And with that, when I have a thousand subscribers, I'm pretty much going to go ahead and select someone, you know, randomly. And then that's the person that's going to win. So that could be you, you watching this. You could have the same headlight for free. They retail for around 600 from the optics and all those other sites. And if you get it from like China, it's around $400. So that could be yours for free. All right, on this note, I will go ahead and let you guys go. See you on the next video. Bye.